Beginning Bank Account Balances Setup. For new users of MaxTrax, one of the areas you might want to set up is your bank accounts. If you plan on using the general ledger, income and expense report, and the balance sheet at this point, you should be entering your beginning bank balances using the same date as the rest of your general ledger beginning balances. You may have seen that most beginning general ledger account balances can be set up using the Enter Beginning General Ledger Balances feature. However, you may have also noticed that bank accounts such as general ledger account numbers 11,010, 11,020, 11,030, and so on, accounts receivables, general ledger account number 12,000, and accounts payable, general ledger account number 20,000, are not accessible from that setup feature. These three sections of the program need to be set up through their own areas in order for those areas, in this case the check register, to be set up with the beginning balance as well. Using the setup process in the reconciliation section, your beginning bank balances will also be posted to the general ledger automatically. So let me show you how. From the menu bar, click Banking and select Reconcile Bank Account from the drop list and select the bank account you want to enter a beginning balance for. Highlight the account and click Select or just double click on the account. Click the Add button in the lower left and select Adjustment from the drop list and this will open the account's adjustment window. Here we will first add the beginning balance adjustment and then we'll select it to post our beginning balance to our check register. Click the Add button and here we will create that new account adjustment. Using the radio buttons, select Deposit for your beginning balance entry or leave it on charge if your ending bank statement balance was a negative amount. Enter the description for the account adjustment. Let's say Beginning Balance Setup and enter 19900 as the general ledger account number and this is the system balance initial setup account. We'll just leave the adjustment amount zero because we'll enter the beginning balance when we select the adjustment. Click the OK button to save the account adjustment record to the list. Again we've just created the adjustment so now we click select to post that adjustment to our account. Now there are two ways we can set up our bank account register. You can enter your last bank statement ending balance and then enter all deposits and checks that have posted since then, posting to 19900, the system balance initial setup account, through your system starting date. That's the date that you enter all of your other beginning general ledger balances. This method ensures you catch all of your deposits and debits and you do have your bank statement to reference. The other way is to get your most current bank balance from online banking, for example, enter that balance, and then enter any straggling deposits or checks that were deposited or written before your system starting date, but had not cleared by the time you went online to get that starting balance. If you're tracking your bank reconciliation in another system, you'll know exactly what those stragglers are and you can enter them at this time and post them again to the 19900 system balance initial setup account. If you don't have another system to enter those checks and deposits that have not cleared yet, you will catch those stragglers when you go to reconcile your bank statement next month, so it's not a problem. Just remember to post them to the 19900 account. You will notice that if you used a balance sheet that is in balance to enter all of your beginning general ledger balances, other than your bank accounts of course, these last few bank entries usually are what clear out the system balancing account. Now this really is pretty simple, but sometimes it takes a time or two to wrap your head around the process and why we do it this way. So continuing on, we'll edit the date to 2-28-2010. This is the date that we're using to enter in all of our beginning balances because we're going to start using MaxTrax as of March 1st. And now enter your ending statement balance or current bank balance and let's say it's 3810 cents. Click OK and now our beginning balance is an adjustment on our check register. So when you reconcile your bank statement, you will tag this adjustment and this will serve as our beginning statement amount so your final reconciliation amount is correct. Additionally, this beginning balance amount is now on the general ledger under the 11,020 account, my checking account number two. 
Now for those deposits since your last statement ending balance or those stragglers I mentioned if you're entering your current balance use the same adjustment to enter any of those deposits and they will post to the 19900 system balance initial setup account just like your initial beginning balance. And for checks written since your statement ending balance just use the write a check feature and enter checks written since your last statement ending date or again the second method checks written before your system start date but that cleared afterwards and post them to the 19900 system balancing account. There are some shops that may have been using max tracks for their invoicing but just now are deciding to start using the computer check writing feature and maybe start tracking their expenses in the system. For those shops, they may not be entering beginning general ledger balances at all. So the beginning balance can be entered either way, as mentioned previously. Just note the system will be tracking your expenses going forward from this point, and your income and expense report will reflect that. As I mentioned with the other two methods, either way, you might need to enter some straggler deposits and checks to be able to reconcile your bank statement at the end of the month. Just post these deposits and checks to the 19900 account, and when you do finally set up your general ledger, these entries will just be part of your initial setup amount. And this concludes the lesson on beginning bank account balance setup.